Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this guide, I'm going to show you how to build and package OBS for Debian 12 and Debian testing. Now, why would you want to do that? Simple, really. You might just want to run the latest and greatest version. Maybe you just want to help test the proposed updates and features. Or you know what? How about this? Maybe the simple satisfaction that comes with building it yourself. And as always, there'll be a link in the video description with a step-by-step -step guide. Just to save anyone from having to type the comment, yes, there is an official guide on the OBS wiki covering automated and custom Debian builds. I'll put a link in the comments if you want to check it out. But up first, dependencies. These are the applications OBS needs in order to compile. We're going to install them using app like so. That's going to take a minute or two. Now we got to clone the GitHub repository. This is pretty straightforward. You've probably done it before. But make sure you use the recursive tag. Make sure you snag all the extra bits needed to compile OBS. Up next is Chromium. That's right, it's got a browser. This is how we do it. Chromium Embedded Framework. This is all the nonsense that's needed to set up the browser source inside of OBS. What this command does, it's a wget. It's going to download and we're going to use tar. It's going to decompress it. Run a list command in the directory. You should see it right there. Good to go. Now we can create a build directory and change right into that. From here, we're going to run the configuration script. What's this? This is going to tell OBS what options to include, what options not to include. For this guide, we're basically doing the kitchen sink. We're just saying, build everything except for that AJA capture card. All we have to do at this point is run the make command and let it finish. You got time to get a snack. Would you look at that? We've compiled OBS. Now that we've compiled OBS, let's turn it into a Debian package and install it. For this, we're using check install. It's not fancy, it's not pretty, but it gets the job done. And once it's done, we're going to have an OBS deb sitting in that build directory. Run a list command, check it out. What do we do with that? Simple. We're going to install it with dpackage i. Once that's done, give it a sudo ld config. And you know what? If everything went correctly, we should be able to launch OBS right from the terminal, right here, and give it a test. And look at that. We did a thing. That's it. Maybe you learned something. Or maybe I got something wrong. You know what? Either way. Let me know in the comments. And a big thanks to our patrons flying by on the screen right now. Without these wacky people, none of this would be possible.